Hey guys, Chris again from ClassicVWBugs.com and in this video we're going to talk about, once again, starting our motor after a fresh rebuild, either on a bench or on an engine stand. Uh, but before we do that, please be sure to like, subscribe, hit that bell button, hit that notification, and if you don't mind, please, for the price of a cup of coffee, you can send us a small donation and it uh, helps keep this channel alive and keeps us going. So uh, here we are, we have our motor attached to our engine stand here. We just freshly rebuilt this motor and we're going to want to restart uh, it and for the first time. Whether you have a bench or an engine stand, either way you can do this. And we're going to talk about a product that I have come across that we are now using that I think is excellent uh, that you guys can purchase for your uh, rebuilds and your projects. So uh, take a look at this. It's by a company called Zalex. And uh, I got this uh, product to test out and to review, and I think it's remarkable. It's all in one package sort of thing. So you hook this box up with oil, ignition, generator, uh, and you just press the start button and your motor starts. And you get a ring that attaches to uh, the back of the motor, but I'll show you that in a second. But all the wires and the cables are labeled properly for you, uh, where to put uh, the cable. So that's a solenoid right there. Then you got your generator and, uh, alter or alternator wire. All right, so that's the D plus. And then you got your ignition wire that will go to your coil, and then you got your wire for your oil, and of course your battery uh, stra uh, cables, your alligator cables, big alligator cables for your battery. And you hook this up. It's all in one package, so you don't have to have everything all separate and such. And uh, you get a hook up. See, so you got your. What's really nice is you got your oil, your ignition, and your gen lights all in one section here. And I'll show you that in a minute. So no more are we going to be using these uh, old bell housings or these sawed-off bell housings from uh, old uh, VW trannies that we used to use to start on the bench. Instead, now we're going to use this ring. It's like a half a ring that you basically attach to the back of your motor as it's on the engine stand, which is really nice. You insert your starter here, and you can get a 12-volt or 6-volt uh, ring here. Uh, so I'll have links in the description below on where you can purchase this stuff. So there we attached our starter brand new 12 volt starter that we got from AutoZone uh, which is actually pretty remarkable they're pretty they're smaller now uh, pretty cool so we have our ring with the starter and then we're going to put it up to the back of the motor like you see here and that's it guys and you can literally start this on the engine stand now what I do recommend though is do not put the uh, pressure plate and clutch and pressure plate on the motor as you see it's really close to that ring right there so if it does spin it comes very close to that you might hit it I mean depending on what make or model pressure plate you have uh, might you know hit you there so uh, but this is how it hooks up it's that simple you don't need a bell housing anymore so let's get started I mean here's your motor all set up on the engine stand and we're going to show you now what you can do uh, of course you're going to need a 12 volt battery or a 6 volt battery to hook up and you're also going to need a little gas tank uh, so we've gotten I'll show you that in a minute but we use just a basic lawnmower gas tank so we got all our cables hooked up here's my solenoid cable generator cable just make sure everything's fastened that everything's hooked up right and again those wires are all labeled that come off that that starter box there's your oil sending unit Oil, oil switch and your coil for ignition wire and that's basically it guys uh, and you're ready to rock and roll you put those big alligator clamps on top of a battery and you're ready to go so here's a little uh, gas tank we have again we got this off of a, like an old lawnmower or a snowblower or something like that and we just kind of mount it uh, to the back here I'll show you where we put it So just kind of where one of the studs are, one of the nuts are, where that holds the heat box on, that's fine. Just make sure you move it away from the motor a little bit and you're kind of clear there, there's no vibration. And this is pretty much it, and now we're going to start the motor. Now yeah, the oil light's on, right? Generator, oil, turn it to run, ignition is on, all three are on now. You just press start. <laughs> Done. If you look over here, here's the oil light. And make sure that goes out. 
This is for the first time cranking the motor. Now the oil lights out and you are good. You have oil pressure. Now you can hook up your coil. You want to disconnect your coil while you're doing this and then after you get the oil pressure, hook your coil back up. All you do is press that start button and you start cranking this motor and you got a running motor. Okay, so just to recap, you will need the Zalex Industries control box, the electric control box, and the starter half ring adapter. Uh, 6 volt or 12 volt they come in, and combined together they're about $257 shipped. Uh, so not a bad little kit for your brand new engine rebuild that you want to start up on your engine stand or on your bench. If you guys have any questions, email me chris at classicpwbugs.com. Take care.